So as of today, we still have a lot of coronavirus cases and I'd like to talk to you all and demonstrate some safety features that we still gotta keep following. Like we still gotta keep taking precautions. Like um, for example, whenever we're not in our own home, when we're out in public, we should all have our masks over our nose and mouth. And if you're not sure if it's on properly, ask somebody to help you or try to figure it out on your own because we still gotta keep taking this virus seriously because this is not going away anytime soon and we've had COVID for a year now and if we want to get back to our normal lives, I suggest that we keep taking precautions, do everything it takes to get this virus out of control, make it vanish because ending COVID is important right now. And that's the most important thing. You've got to keep taking this seriously. I'm here so I can demonstrate how we can guarantee the health and safety of everybody around the world and the United States. Putting COVID away is our main priority. Last year, schools started to close, sports got suspended. I still remember that night when the Jazz Thunder game got postponed because of Rudy Gobert having coronavirus after having touched mics two days before. And uh, here's a video footage of what happened the night it got postponed. Right before an NBA game featuring the Utah Jazz and the Oklahoma City Thunder, it was just like any other home game for the Thunder. Players taking their warm-ups and doing their normal pre-game routines until an announcement came that the game was postponed. And fans, due to unforeseen circumstances, the game tonight has been postponed. You are all safe. Take your time in leaving the arena tonight and do so in an orderly fashion. Thank you for coming out tonight. Fans were told to leave the arena in a calm and orderly fashion as the game was postponed due to unforeseen circumstances. The NBA would later suspend the season. COVID has really affected people's lives. It's changed our way of living. It wasn't easy for all of us, especially me. It wasn't easy for me, my friends, my family, and I need to prepare myself because some people can catch COVID without having the symptoms. What can I do to avoid that? Well, to guarantee my health and safety, when I go out in public, I always make sure to put a mask over my nose and my mouth, and I also make sure to make anything a minimum of six feet apart from others. I need you all to make sure you're wearing a face mask properly whenever you're out in public or whenever you're not at home. The only time you can have your mask off is when you're at home or when you're out in public and you're eating. And we gotta keep taking this seriously because COVID isn't going away anytime soon, but even though we're handing out vaccines, we gotta keep doing what we're doing. We gotta trust the doctors. We gotta ask ourselves, what is the best thing we can do to guarantee the health and safety of everyone around us? What do we wanna do to get our lives back to normal? How are we gonna end the coronavirus? How are we gonna end this pandemic? Get out of this madness. It's what I ask myself all the time. It's what we should all be asking ourselves. We keep doing what we're doing now. We make sure we're often washing our hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, or use hand sanitizer if you're not near a sink. So but please sanitize your hands more often whenever you can, because it will help slow down the coronavirus. Now, I've heard rumors saying that COVID is basically just the flu. And I, COVID might be like the flu, but COVID is a lot much serious than the flu. There's been thousands of people that have died from this disease, got sick, got had symptoms. I've had two family members test positive. And you know what they did? They isolated in quarantine. That's what you should all do if you tested positive. This, the main symptoms of COVID-19 are having a fever, a headache, coughing, vomiting. Sometimes people catch COVID without symptoms. So be prepared because the actual way of knowing you have COVID is when you're told that you have it. And whether you have symptoms or not, if you're told that you have COVID and you've been tested positive, here are some safety tips. One, quarantine and isolate. Make sure you don't leave your house. Unless you need to go get the mail, make sure you have a mask, but don't be going out to pizza places. Don't be going to food pickup deliveries. If you're quarantining at your home, keep six feet away from others. Try to avoid contact with others who recently had COVID and those that are at high risk. Cause I promise you all, I promise that if we keep doing the right things and we move forward in the right direction, I promise you, Think of all the setbacks we suffered from COVID. A lot of companies went bankrupt because of COVID. So don't be a fool and think COVID isn't gonna stop anything. Cause think about my life. Think about your lives. Think about your parents' lives. 
Think about your family's lives. What has changed forever? Because people who think COVID hasn't stopped anything and this thing just is just a hoax, they are wrong. Tell them that they are wrong and that they need to shut their pie holes because they have no idea what they're talking about. But although they have a point because, you know, last year, nobody knew that it was coming and none of us ever knew it was going to be this serious. I mean, last year, I thought at first that maybe this was going to last two weeks. I don't know. Then I fought because, you know, human coronaviruses can spread quicker than the speed of light. So that's why I'm telling you all to keep taking precautions because I promise you, if we keep taking the right steps in the right direction, we're going to pride ourselves and strive ourselves for a better future. The key to a bright future is that we keep doing what we're doing now. We keep physically distancing six feet away from others when we're out in public, along with wearing a face mask when we're out in public and making sure that the face mask goes over our mouth and our nose properly. Be sure to mask up in public. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful evening.